Kim, thank you. The Climate Prediction Center has put the lower 48 under a La Nina watch. 27 storm track meteorologist Alexis Clemens breaks down what that means for us in southern Wisconsin. This past winter was impacted by El Nino conditions, but now we're watching a transition into La Nina this summer. To refresh your memory, El Nino is a climate pattern where the eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean waters warm above average. La Nina is the opposite. We see cooler than average ocean temperatures in the eastern equatorial Pacific. Winter is the season most likely to be impacted by both La Nina and El Nino. For North America, typically we see high pressure form south of Alaska that amplifies our polar jet stream. When the polar jet stream dips south of us here in Wisconsin, it allows more polar and Arctic air to move into our area. If the jet becomes more meridional, where it looks kind of like the graph of a sine function, this is going to lead to more precipitation events. So typically during a La Nina winter, which we can plan for later this year, the northern U.S. sees cooler and wetter than average weather conditions. So what does this mean for our summer? We'll be in the neutral conditions this summer as we transition from El Nino to La Nina. Precipitation will likely be unaffected, but temperatures may range a bit warmer. If La Nina can set in early enough this summer, that could actually lead to a more active hurricane season in the Atlantic. As we transition to winter, temperatures should be a bit cooler as precipitation lifts above average. But note that this all depends on where our jet streams end up, so it will be important to stay updated on your weather forecast. It's also important to know that this outlook does not include any data on climate change. This is solely based on patterns we've noticed with El Nino and La Nina. For 27 Storm Track Weather, I'm meteorologist Alexis Clemens.